Hey guys, um, I decided to make a February favorites video. Um, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that some of the stuff that I will be showing is that I got it in January, but I only really started using it in February, and some of the stuff that I've already has have and made a bunch of reviews on as well. So that's just putting like a disclaimer out there. Um, I don't know, I think I should tell you guys what I'm wearing today. Um, so what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this like off the shoulder, um, Hollister Surfon shirt. I've had this roughly for maybe four or five years and it's still in great condition, which is surprising because Hollister clothes sucks. Then I'm wearing my Victoria's Se Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink leggings, yoga leggings, and of course my favorite Ugg moccasins, Ugg moccasins. And I'm just wearing my, um, my friend's hat. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been using, what I used a lot in February, and today's March 1st, so happy March 1st. Okay, let's start. February, I never left the house without leggings, wearing a pair of leggings, either from Victoria's Secret or this other brand called 90s Reflex or something. It's basically like Lululemon uh, leggings. But you won't have that fear of, oh my god, can somebody see my underwear from, like, the outside. Because I know Lululemon has, like, a problem with that. Anyways, um, that's one thing. So, what? Some of my favorite favorites. Um, the next thing is my, oh my god, my Louis Vuitton, um, ribbon. Or scarf, as some people put it, scarf. Um, like this. I usually just wrap it into my hair, into like a hairstyle, and I usually just let it, the, the things dangle down like this. Um, this isn't a real Louis Vuitton scarf, but I got it a long time ago, it's a replica, and it is the Louis Vuitton graffiti, uh, look. But no one would ever know that it's not real. And I love this scarf, like, love it. I also got this the other day to use in the springtime, it's from Coach, it's a real Coach um scarf i'm gonna put it in my hair because i love wearing like these like thin scarves in my hair that's not really a february favorite but i just want to put that out there <laughs> um i gave up soda for lent so i've been drinking um sparkling water but i've also been drinking sparkling water for years but lately since i can't drink soda my go-to drink is sparkling water and i really like the canada canada dry ones because it has a lot of like bubbles and then they have black cherry, which reminds me of, uh, like, cherry coke, because that's my favorite coke to drink is cherry coke. But I feel like this has sugar, but it keeps saying that it's unsweetened and it doesn't have sugar, but I like it. It's one of my favorites. Um, the next thing is this activated charcoal toothpaste. I do this at least maybe twice a week. And I also use, um, Crest 3D Whitening Ultra White Celebrity White Toothpaste or something like that. So, I don't just use this as, like, toothpaste, because I know people just use this as toothpaste. And, like, I just don't do that. I do, like, the two things. I don't do this every day. I just do it twice a week, and then I brush my teeth with regular toothpaste. But I do want to put a disclaimer out there that you're not... Since I worked in the food industry world, um, I worked at an organic cold-pressed juicing company. Uh, we used to make a lot of drinks with um, charcoal, cold activated charcoal. And it's actually really not good for your body at all. But, and I know I'm kind of late on this trend. But then again, I don't use it every day. And I don't use it as toothpaste. I just use it to, like, help me whiten my smile. The next thing is makeup related. It's Tarte Shape Tape. I replaced my Maybelline one. Because I said in the previous video that um, I used the Maybelline one. Which started to give me breakouts under my eyes. And since I'm chronically sick and, like, I just have suffer from really dark circles. Well, you don't see them today because I came home from the groomers with my dogs. And I took, like, a five-hour nap because it's finally gone. But I, 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 I suffer from chronic fatigue and it's really hard to just get rid of the under circles. And this covers, like, 89% of it, which is amazing. And, like, my Maybelline one never really covered my under circles. So I really, really suggest this. And I really love it. And I got this in January, but I only really started wearing it in February. And I am light neutral color. 
And this is what the tip looks like. You probably, if you run bumped into my video, you've probably already seen a bunch of reviews on this. But some people haven't. So this is what it looks like, the top. I freaking love it. Um, definitely recommend it. And this only lasts for six months. So if you're all about not using expired makeup after it's expired, then probably not the best, the best like contour thing for you. Okay, so my next is um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Moonchild um, Highlighter Palette. It is drop dead gorgeous. I freaking love it. I mainly use um, this one. You know, what? maybe I should just show you guys like what hand am I gonna use? All right, I'm just gonna show you them all on my fingers because I freaking love it. It's like beautiful, totally worth your money. I was originally going to get the um, diamond highlighter from Too Faced, and I think it was fifty dollars, and this was like forty five. So it was literally a five different five dollar difference or whatever. But this one you get six colors, and the diamond one is only one. So um, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do blue ice. This is blue ice. It looks white on the palette, but. If it focuses I don't know what's on my finger guys it's mascara okay this one is star Ooh. it's so pretty it's so pigmented too this one's gonna be purple horseshoe I use purple horseshoe quite often so pretty right this one's Pink Heart. And this one's um, Lucky Clover. It's green in person, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know if you could pick up the different colors, but the green in person. Oh, my God. Where am I going to put this? Because I've ran out of fingers. Blue Moon will just do this one like this. <laughs> this is Blue Moon. It is blue. I use blue mood quite often. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this palette. It is a beautiful palette. And plus it's only $5 more from like the diamond one. And you get six colors. Let's see. Where am I going to put this? Because I don't want to just finish my video. I'll just rub it on my this pillow that I have my thing on. Okay. Oh, that's going to be shiny. Okay. So my next February favorite is actually on my keys. I'm actually going to actually retire this one. Retiring this pom pom. Um, it's this um Fendi monster. It is so cute. It is so pretty. It's so freaking cute. And yes, it definitely does um hang low when I'm driving. Like, no doubt about it. But I think I'm gonna fix this because like car key, if you haven't noticed, it has like a really, really like small thing and like it's kind of hard to just latch everything, everything else onto it. But I think I'm going to try figuring this out after this video because this has been my makeshift like key ring since I got my car. And then lastly, my favorite lately has been just wearing my Speedy from Louis Vuitton. This is a real bag. Um... There's a lot of stuff in it. The hue, it's a Speed 25. I just love it. It's so like worn and the handles are so like patinaed and like it's just so pretty. Like, I don't know. It's just like my go-to bag. Um It's just me. Like I I go to it. I'd rather wear this than a lot of bags, but um but sometimes I switch it up, but lately I just really want spring to come and I usually just wear my Louis Vuitton bags. In the springtime because I know there's not like crazy like random like s like snow showers and like rain showers because um, the leather isn't like treated so I don't want to really like ruin my bag at all so I don't really tend to wear it but February this month in Jersey has been really nice and it hasn't really snowed and it hasn't really rained that much so I was like able to wear this bag a lot so yeah, so that is my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you're wondering what my social medias are, they're all down below in links. 
Alright, guys, I hope you have a fabulous first day of March. Um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.